All right, we are here with the Canna Kiwis, hmm. Aaron Rutliff and Gabby Dabrowski, who are into the Miami Open doubles final after a not uneventful victory against the two Americans, Parks and Muhammad. How did you guys manage to come back from being a set and a breakdown with all this sort of interplay and drama that was going on on this court? Um, good question. I think we stuck together, number one. Um, we kept, you know, reminding each other that it was going to come and like our games were kind of going to click. In the important times I think we tried to stay loud even when maybe a little uncomfortable when it's kind of like you just want to shut down a little bit I think um, and we, we picked good spots and really big moments I think we hustled um, you know switched it up tried to do like you know more lobs chips like rather than like booming from the baseline I think yeah I don't know yeah I mean personally uh, I'll have to watch it back to see how we were as a team in the first but I started to internalize a little bit in the first where all of the things that I'm really good at normally, like volleys and overheads, they were not working and I got a little bit flustered and that's where I started to internalize but I was glad that Aaron was there, very supportive, trying to snap me out of it and then um, it, it was like we talked about how the first set was not our best tennis and yet it was 7-6. So that kind of put things into perspective and we let each other know that like it was going to come and we would have our chance even though it wasn't feeling great. There you go. So you still have no idea who you're going to play in the finals. It could be two completely different teams. Yeah. The short Italians or, or uh, Kenan and Maddox Sands, yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. But the question that I have for, for you, Gabby, is that you made the final here, I think in 2017 at the other place. Yeah. With Julie Shu? Yeah. yeah, that yeah. was me and Julie's first tournament together. Yeah. We, we won. We won. Yeah, yeah they wow. did. And yeah. there was there was nobody there. Like I think I had the it only video our, of match point that day. No way. Best Amazing. result. Yeah, it was unreal. Yeah. Did Oh damn, so we can't win it for the first time ever. We can win it here for the first time. Yeah. Right. That's right. And together. And also. Yeah. Stadium. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I do miss Kiba Skin. That was your question. Except for the rats. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> What? The rats. Oh, whatever. I like the iguanas outside. Yeah. It had a very nice, intimate feel. Yeah. Every court was special. Um, yeah, I did it, it had pluses and it had pluses and minuses. Yeah. The rats yeah. were yeah, the minus. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, I guess the question was, seven years ago, could you have predicted that your career would be where it is now, where you're arguably playing probably, I would say, the best tennis of your career overall, and that you have some majors? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That. yeah. Um, no. 2017 was seven years ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I don't think you can ever predict anything in tennis, to be honest. Like, whether it's singles or doubles, I think it's not easy to have consistent results over many, many years or in doubles with many different partners. Um, some partnerships longer than others. It's honestly like tennis is just a total toss up. Um, all Pretty I, impressive. She's about to turn 32, playing her best tennis. Come oh, on, baby. Just like Dimitrov. <laughs> Just like that. Hey. <laughs> wow, that's a nice compliment. Thank you. There you go. Putting She's us 32. Two. I looked it up. Oh, you did? Yeah. That's cool. Putting us two in the same sentences, you know, <laughs> wow. working. Good for me. Thanks. <laughs> All right.